The Lost Books of the Bible. The Book of Jasher chapter 31, verse 1 to 77. And in the seventh year, Jacob's service which he served Laban was completed, and Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife, for the days of my service are fulfilled. And Laban did so, and Laban and Jacob assembled all the people of that place and they made a feast. And in the evening Laban came to the house, and afterward Jacob came there with the people of the feast, and Laban extinguished all the lights that were there in the house. And Jacob said unto Laban, Wherefore dost thou do this thing unto us? And Laban answered, Sitch is our custom to act in this land. And afterward Laban took his daughter Leah, and he brought her to Jacob. And he came to her, and Jacob did not know that she was Leah. And Laban gave his daughter Leah his maid Zilpah for a handmaid. And all the people at the feast knew what Laban had done to Jacob, but they did not tell the thing to Jacob. And all the neighbors came that night to Jacob's house, and they ate and drank and rejoiced, and played before Leah upon timbrels, and with dances, and they responded before Jacob, Helia, Helia. And Jacob heard their words but did not understand their meaning, but he thought such might be their custom in this land. And the neighbors spoke these words before Jacob during the night, and all the lights that were in the house Laban had that night extinguished. And in the morning, when daylight appeared, Jacob turned to his wife and he saw, and behold it was Leah that had been lying in his bosom, and Jacob said, Behold now I know what the neighbors said last night, Helia, they said, and I knew it not. And Jacob called unto Laban, and said unto him, what is this that thou didst unto me? Surely I served thee for Rachel, and why didst thou deceive me and didst give me Leah? And Laban answered Jacob, saying, Not so is it done in our place to give the younger before the elder. Now therefore, if thou desirest to take her sister likewise, take her unto thee for the service which thou wilt serve me for another seven years. And Jacob did so, and he also took Rachel for a wife, and he served Laban seven years more, and Jacob also came to Rachel, and he loved Rachel more than Leah, and Laban gave her his maid Bilhah for a handmaid. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, the Lord opened her womb, and she conceived and bare Jacob four sons in those days. And these are their names, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, and she afterward left bearing. And at that time Rachel was barren, and she had no offspring, and Rachel envied her sister Leah, and when Rachel saw that she bare no children to Jacob, she took her handmaid Bilhah, and she bare Jacob two sons, Dan and Naphtali. And when Leah saw that she had left bearing, she also took her handmaid Zilpah, and she gave her to Jacob for a wife. And Jacob also came to Zilpah, and she also bare Jacob two sons, Gad and Asher. And Leah again conceived and bare Jacob in those days two sons and one daughter. And these are their names, Isaac, Zebulun, and their sister Dinah. And Rachel was still barren in those days, and Rachel prayed unto the Lord at that time, and she said, O Lord God, remember me and visit me, I beseech thee, for now my husband will cast me off, for I have borne him no children. Now O Lord God, hear my supplication before thee, and see my affliction, and give me children like one of the handmaids, that I may no more bear my reproach. And God heard her and opened her womb, and Rachel conceived and bare a son, and she said, The Lord has taken away my reproach, 
and she called his name Joseph, saying, May the Lord add to me another son. And Jacob was ninety-one years old when she bare him. At that time Jacob's mother, Rebekah, sent her nurse Deborah the daughter of Uzed, and two of Isaac's servants unto Jacob. And they came to Jacob to Haran and they said unto him, Rebekah has sent us to thee that thou shalt return to thy father's house to the land of Canaan. And Jacob hearkened unto them in this which his mother had spoken. At that time, the other seven years which Jacob served Laban for Rachel were completed, and it was at the end of fourteen years that he had dwelt in Haran that Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wives and send me away, that I may go to my land, for behold my mother did send unto me from the land at Canaan that I should return to my father's house. And Laban said unto him, Not so I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy sight do not leave me. Appoint me thy wages and I will give them, and remain with me. And Jacob said unto him, This is what thou shalt give me for wages, that I shall this day pass through all thy flock and take away from them every lamb that is speckled and spotted and such as are brown amongst the sheep and amongst the goats, and if thou wilt do this thing for me, I will return and feed thy flock and keep them as at first. And Laban did so, and Laban removed from his flock all that Jacob had said and gave them to him. And Jacob placed all that he had removed from Laban's flock in the hands of his sons, and Jacob was feeding the remainder of Laban's flock. And when the servants of Isaac which he had sent unto Jacob saw that Jacob would not then return with them to the land of Canaan to his father, they then went away from him, and they returned home to the land of Canaan. And Deborah remained with Jacob in Haran, and she did not return with the servants of Isaac to the land of Canaan, and Deborah resided with Jacob's wives and children in Haran. And Jacob served Laban six years longer, and when the sheep brought forth, Jacob removed from them such as were speckled and spotted, as he had determined with Laban, and Jacob did so at Laban's for six years, and the man increased abundantly, and he had cattle and maid servants and men servants, camels and asses. And Jacob had two hundred drove of cattle, and his cattle were of large size and of beautiful appearance and were very productive. And all the families of the sons of men desired to get some of the cattle of Jacob, for they were exceedingly prosperous. And many of the sons of men came to procure some of Jacob's flock, and Jacob gave them a sheep for a man-servant or a maid-servant, or for an ass or a camel, or whatever Jacob desired from them they gave him. And Jacob obtained riches and honor and possessions by means of these transactions with the sons of men, and the children of Laban envied him of this honor. And in the course of time he heard the words of Laban's sons, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's has he acquired all this glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban and of his children, and behold it was not toward him in those days as it had been before. And the Lord appeared to Jacob at the expiration of the six years, and said unto him, Arise, go forth out of this land, and return to the land of thy birthplace, and I will be with thee. And Jacob rose up at that time, and he mounted his children and wives and all belonging to him upon camels, and he went forth to go to the land of Canaan to his father Isaac. And Laban did not know that Jacob had gone from him, for Laban had been that day sheep shearing. And Rachel stole her father's images, and she took them and she concealed them upon the camel upon which she sat, and she went on. And this is the manner of the images, 
in taking a man who is the firstborn and slaying him and taking the hair off his head, and taking salt and salting the head and anointing it in oil, then taking a small tablet of copper or a tablet of gold and writing the name upon it, and placing the tablet under his tongue, and taking the head with the tablet under the tongue and putting it in the house, and lighting up lights before it and bowing down to it. And at the time when they bow down to it, it speaketh to them in all matters that they ask of it, through the power of the name which is written in it. And some make them in the figures of men, of gold and silver, and go to them in times known to them, and the figures receive the influence of the stars, and tell them future things, and in this manner were the images which Rachel stole from her father. And Rachel stole these images which were her father's, in order that Laban might not know through them where Jacob had gone. And Laban came home and he asked concerning Jacob and his household, and he was not to be found, and Laban sought his images to know where Jacob had gone, and could not find them, and he went to some other images, and he inquired of them and they told him that Jacob had fled from him to his fathers, to the land of Canaan. And Laban then rose up and he took his brothers and all his servants, and he went forth and pursued Jacob, and he overtook him in Mount Gilead. And Laban said unto Jacob, What is this thou hast done to me to flee and deceive me, and led my daughters and their children as captives taken by the sword? And thou didst not suffer me to kiss them and send them away with joy, and thou didst steal my gods and didst go away. And Jacob answered Laban, saying, Because I was afraid lest thou wouldst take thy daughters by force from me. And now with whomsoever thou findest thy gods, he shall die. And Laban searched for the images and he examined in all Jacob's tents and furniture, but could not find them. And Laban said unto Jacob, we will make a covenant together, and it shall be a testimony between me and thee. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, or shalt take other wives besides my daughters, even God shall be a witness between me and thee in this matter. And they took stones and made a heap, and Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and thee, therefore he called the name there of Gilead. And Jacob and Laban offered sacrifice upon the mount, and they ate there by the heap, and they tarried in the mount all night, and Laban rose up early in the morning, and he wept with his daughters and he kissed them, and he returned unto his place. And he hastened and sent off his son Beor, who was seventeen years old, with Abachoroth the son of Uzed, the son of Nahor, and with them were ten men. And they hastened and went and passed on the road before Jacob, and they came by another road to the land of Sire. And they came unto Esau and said unto him, Thus saith thy brother and relative, thy mother's brother Laban, the son of Bethuel, saying, Hast thou heard what Jacob thy brother has done unto me, who first came to me naked and bare, and I went to meet him, and brought him to my house with honor, and I made him great, and I gave him my two daughters for wives and also two of my maids. And God blessed him on my account, and he increased abundantly, and had sons, daughters and maid servants. He has also an immense stock of flocks and herds, camels and asses, also silver and gold in abundance. And when he saw that his wealth increased, he left me whilst I went to shear my sheep, and he rose up and fled in secrecy. And he lifted his wives and children upon camels, and he led away all his cattle and property which he acquired in my land, and he lifted up his countenance to go to his father Isaac, to the land of Canaan. And he did not suffer me to kiss my daughters and their children, 
And he led my daughters as captives taken by the sword, and he also stole my gods and he fled. And now I have left him in the mountain of the brook of Jabbok, him and all belonging to him. He lacketh nothing. If it be thy wish to go to him, go then and there wilt thou find him, and thou canst do unto him as thy soul desireth. And Laban's messengers came and told Esau all these things. And Esau heard all the words of Laban's messengers, and his anger was greatly kindled against Jacob, and he remembered his hatred, and his anger burned within him. And Esau hastened and took his children and servants and the souls of his household, being sixty men, and he went and assembled all the children of Sire the Harite and their people, being three hundred and forty men, and took all this number of four hundred men with drawn swords, and he went unto Jacob to smite him. And Esau divided this number into several parts, and he took the sixty men of his children and servants and the souls of his household as one head, and gave them in care of Eliphaz his eldest son. And the remaining heads he gave to the care of the six sons of Sire the Harite, and he placed every man over his generations and children. And the whole of this camp went as it was, and Esau went amongst them toward Jacob, and he conducted them with speed. And Laban's messengers departed from Esau and went to the land of Canaan, and they came to the house of Rebekah the mother of Jacob and Esau. And they told her, saying, Behold thy son Esau has gone against his brother Jacob with four hundred men, for he heard that he was coming, and he is gone to make war with him, and to smite him and to take all that he has. And Rebekah hastened and sent seventy-two men from the servants of Isaac to meet Jacob on the road. For she said, Peradventure, Esau may make war in the road when he meets him. And these messengers went on the road to meet Jacob, and they met him in the road of the brook on the opposite side of the brook Jabbok. And Jacob said when he saw them, This camp is destined to me from God, and Jacob called the name of that place Machnaim. And Jacob knew all his father's people, and he kissed them and embraced them and came with them. And Jacob asked them concerning his father and mother, and they said, They were well. And these messengers said unto Jacob, Rebekah thy mother has sent us to thee, saying, I have heard, my son, that thy brother Esau has gone forth against thee on the road with men from the children of Sire the Harite. And therefore, my son, hearken to my voice and see with thy counsel what thou wilt do, and when he cometh up to thee, supplicate him, and do not speak rashly to him, and give him a present from what thou possessest, and from what God has favoured thee with. And when he asketh thee concerning thy affairs, conceal nothing from him. Perhaps he may turn from his anger against thee, and thou wilt thereby save thy soul, thou and all belonging to thee, for it is thy duty to honour him, for he is thy elder brother. And when Jacob heard the words of his mother which the messengers had spoken to him, Jacob lifted up his voice and wept bitterly, and did as his mother then commanded him.